Hey guys, this is Karim Bidani from Mobi Scrub and after a long wait, I'm back in action with the top app series. And this one is for March. As always, most of these apps are going to make your experience with your smartphone more meaningful and fun. The first app is a beautiful alarm clock called Timely. It's got beautiful themes, colors, animation, and it even syncs your alarms with your email ID. So let's see what the app's got. It's got your stopwatch, timer, and alarm. Animations are subtle, minimal, and a lot of fun to use. I really like the response of the app to the touch, the use of colors, and overall gradient. It all looks really beautiful. You can create multiple alarms, and the way to do it is just tap on the required time of the day, or to make it more fun, just start sliding. Now, if you want an exact time, you can just tap on it, and then uh, you know you can just key in the time that you want. Uh, you know, it's as simple as that. So just key in, let's say 10:53, select AM or PM, let's say AM, and you're done. And from a customization standpoint, you've got multiple themes, uh, you know, that have various colors. So whatever you like, you can just put it and, you know, you can apply your design. The next app is a wallpaper customization app, but, but look at that. It's like material wallpapers hooked up with the inbuilt accelerometer of the phone and gave it all the control. And you have awesome control over how crazy you want the effect to be. All you have to do is go into wallpapers, select minima as the live wallpaper and set it and you get some kick-ass wallpapers on your phone. Now, how do you get this? Just go to the App Store and download Minima Live Wallpaper. Once you have that, tap on it, and you know, you've got some uh, themes that you can now choose from. So as you can see, uh, quite a few of them are going to be free. Uh, most of them, and especially the good ones, are going to be pro, which means you've got to buy them or you've got to buy the app. But you still have a bunch of decent ones that you can, uh, you know, opt for, and you can even change their colors. So you know, you get all the options. Let's. So there you go. You know, I had like blue, and then I could just change the colors to something in purple. And you've got quite a few uh, fun things that you can do with the app. You know, you can add funky tilt shift, uh, change the tilt effect amount from none to like all the way to tilty. And, uh, you know, the shift effect amount, it's, it's on little right now. You can make it crazy if you really want it. And then the effect is going to be just a lot more pronounced. And as you can see, with just a little movement, the wallpaper really goes uh, crazy. The next app is a lock screen replacement app called Locker Master. Of course, you've got a lot of designs to choose from and uh, you can just click on one, install it from the Play Store and it just applies onto your lock screen. There you go. If you have, uh, you know, if you don't have a specific thing in mind, what you can do is also go into categories and then choose from, you know, whatever, whatever you like. Uh, what's really interesting about Locker Master is how you unlock your screen. So not everyone is going to know how you unlock it because there's something or the other. So for example, in this one, you have to double tap on the grass there to unlock the screen. So it's, it's kind of cool because not everyone would be able to unlock, but still you have your own design. The fourth app that I want to talk about is called Cover. It's brilliant. It's just as simple as, as what you see on the screen. You can swipe from uh, your lock screen and it directly opens depending on which app you chose to swipe, right? And then you've got all of those uh, apps in priority uh, of your usage. You can boost it up if in case you feel, you know, that's something more important to me. Uh, you've got a bunch of profiles. So you're on home right now. You can change to work, car, or when you're out and about. And of course, for each such profile, you can have a particular wallpaper. So for work, it shows a busy street where, you know, people are trying to get to work. And of course, you can just go in and you can change that. Uh, this is out and about. So, you know, when you're walking around uh, uh, and, you know, you can change your wallpapers depending on uh, your profile. So for work, I, you know, you want something else. Or for, for when you're at home, you want something else. You can do that. Even when you're inside your phone, like, you know, you're at your home screen or some app, you could always access from the right hand side top corner. The other thing which is interesting is you can define when you're home or what it means to be at home. So if you're selected to a particular Wi-Fi network, you're at home and so on. The next app is called Shift. What it does is it helps you create your own photo filter, name it and store it. Of course, you've got Retrica and you've got, uh, you know, Snap. Uh, sorry, Snapseed, you've got all of these apps that do, that do that. But what's interesting is you can store your configuration and, you know, give it a particular name and you can apply it the next time. So, you know, you can favorite your, uh, your filter con configuration, save it or delete it, of course, uh, and then you, you can apply it anytime you want. So, you know, swipe to delete, touch and hold to reorder. 
So you've got all those things. So I think it's pretty interesting, you know, if you want to create something of your own, be creative and just have your own filter uh, depending on what you like. The next app is again an alarm app, but it's different because it gives you a lot of options. It's called Lifetime Alarm Clock and again, it's free uh, at the Play Store. You get two uh, layouts. You've got your black, which is a dark theme and you've got your light theme. Long press on the clock and your flashlight comes on right there. And of course, you can just uh, tap again, again and uh, it shuts off. The highlight of the app is really the setting up of alarms and the options that come with it. The app is completely designed on material principles, the material design principles. You've got three types of alarms that you can, uh, you know, put. And the first one, let's just go with peaceful. So again, you've got, you know, some really interesting ways by which you can set up alarms, which is your hours and your minutes. Select between AM, PM right on the top. You can set up a pre-alarm as well. And you can, of course, have your snooze limit. So let's say you want a snooze limit of 20 minutes or, you know, 20 or 15 minutes, whatever. So you can, it's just the interaction, which is, which is really nice on the, on the app. And of course, you can set your days uh, as and when you want. Once your alarm is set, you can, you know, just tweak those things by uh, going into settings for that particular alarm. And then you have a lot more options. You get to choose from a couple of ringtones and, you know, sorry, alarm tones, but you might just have to buy, you know, a few of them depending on whether they're available or not. And that's how the app developer makes money. Then, you know, you've got options of fading in, fading out, uh, vibrations, whether you want that or not, the color uh, of the, uh, the particular alarm that you're placing. So, you know, you can color code. I don't know why you would do that, but yeah, you know, why not? I mean, uh, so you've got the purple gentle alarm. You can group your alarms together. You know, it could be a school alarm or you could it could be a college alarm or a particular uh, kind of, you know, a work alarm. I don't know. So just, you know, the possibilities are sort of endless. Uh, but trust me, this is probably the most comprehensive alarm app I've ever seen. Uh, and again, it's, you know, it follows the material design principle as well. Let's accept one thing. We're now spending more time on, on our smartphones than we are on the desktop. We used to initially use uh, desktop for, you know, downloading stuff from torrent sites. Uh, and we used to use clients like BitComet or MuTorrent, uTorrent. Flood is a torrent client for your smartphone. So, you know, and, and it follows uh, the material design as well. Uh, so it's a really pretty looking app. You can uh, search for your torrents right here. It uh, throws up the, the search results on your browser and you can download the torrent file on your phone. Now, once you do that, it just opens up the, tor the torrent file, opens up onto the app. There you go. And all you've got to do is tap on the plus sign and it adds the torrent. And now, you know, it just starts downloading. So, of course, you can now view it on your phone once it downloads over. Uh, or you could always transfer it to your computer or to your laptop or connect it to your TV and watch it from right there. So, and if you have torrent stored on your phone, you can just open it from the file manager. Now, this app that I'm going to talk about now is a very, very simple app, but extremely useful. It's called Keep It On. And all it does is it just locks and unlocks your phone as you put it in your pocket and take it out. So it just saves you the trouble of pressing the power and lock key every time you do that. So, of course, you know, there's, there's just no other utility to this app except that you've got a couple of options. So, you know, you can tweak the, uh, the accuracy of, of the app. Uh, by, you know, changing the sensitivity, but that's really just about it. So, you know, it just works by calculating the distance from the proximity sensor. If it goes dark, it's probably in your pocket. The next app I want to talk about is called 1Password, and most of you must have heard about it already, but not a lot of you use it. Now, as, as much as we would like to keep the same passwords everywhere we log in, uh, we know that's not the case. A lot of places have, you know, one letter must be capital, or you must use a symbol, and then you've got to use a separate one. And, you know, you've, again, you've got social networks, you've got emails, you've got uh, uh, banking passwords, just so many of them. And they're pretty much different from each other, uh, whether you like it or not. So one password does that for you. Uh, you know, so depending on any kind of identification that you want to store, any, it could be a login, it could be your license number, it could be a reward cards uh, number, anything, just keep everything right here. And of course, this is, uh, you know, the, that too itself is encrypted and that's the only one password you need to remember. All of this is synced to the cloud, uh, so you've got no issues. So for example, you know, you want to create one for email accounts, you could generate a password or if you already have one, just feed it in and it will store for you. 
So I think this is really useful. Um, you just have to set it up just once, just that once time, a uh, one time that you have to do, and that's the only pain you'll have to take. But trust me, you'd be sorted because you can get these passwords from any place you are because it's all gonna be on the cloud. So there you go, storage and syncing.